Welcome uh, to this Lightboard session, everyone, where we're going to learn a little bit more about vSAN. And in this particular case, we're going to learn about uh, the two optional architectures that exist in vSAN 8. That is going to be the original storage architecture of in vSAN, as well as the new express storage architecture in vSAN, or the ESA. The original storage architecture, you'll notice we have these constructs of disk groups and you'd have anywhere from one to five and you would have a, a caching device that was typically a higher performance uh, device, higher endurance, and it handled the initial write acknowledgement. And then that data would, would move down, you know, if it didn't quickly get overwritten into the capacity tier. And the capacity tier is fundamentally where your raw capacity came from. Um, but you had to have these dedicated, you know, different two different tiers. You had to have two different devices. Um, and what is great about this is it accommodated a really wide variety of hardware um, across the generations. You know, starting with the early SSDs you know, we used, there were these SAT SSDs that might have had a couple of thousand IOPS, to the more modern hardware to where these devices really have a lot of capabilities, the NVMe and things. It's evolved quite a bit. But there was a need you know, to reevaluate the architecture and build something, you know, for the, the newest and fastest uh, types of devices. Yeah, and that's where we've introduced the vSAN Express Storage Architecture. And this is really taking advantage of these new modern uh, storage devices. It's really a hardware optimized architecture where we're able to take uh, these NVMe based storage devices and just create uh, a, a fully high performance storage system without having to build out explicit uh, capacity tiers and uh, performance tiers. So in this case, as a as way of comparison, what we have here is we have what's called a storage pool. And this, and there, there can be one storage pool uh, per host, but all of this is just aggregated into a single data store. So uh, in that respect, vSAN behaves very much in the same way, but we we in, introduce a tremendous uh, uh, cost of owner uh, benefit here because we don't have to allocate uh, dedicated um, storage devices for the purposes of uh, performance. We're able to push through so much uh, performance and efficiency through the storage stack um, as a result of this new architecture. And some of you may be looking at these architectures and saying, okay, so half the time I go this one, half the time I go this one. Really, we think that more and more, this is going to be the default um, architecture that's chosen for a number of reasons. One of which, the hardware optimization. It's able to process I.O. with much less CPU overhead. There's been additional efficiency, um, improved efficiency capabilities in the form of new and improved compression uh, that can compact data a lot tighter, as well as the fact that we no longer have these, these high performance caching devices that are separate from our capacity tier, we're able to utilize the capacity of every single device. And you know we've done some napkin math and we encourage you to do your own, but the, the cost per gigabyte is effectively lower on this architecture while it is also faster, has improved operational simplicity because of the, the single storage pool versus the separate storage pools, the, the choice is going to very quickly, for many of you, move to this. But I will note, this does require, a, there's a separate ready node uh, group for this, and there's specific devices. Um, so there is, you're going to have to you know, look for that hardware specifically. But we've made this process fairly easy for you. When you're, when you're creating a brand new cluster, assuming that you have uh, the approved hardware for the express storage architecture, it's going to give you one of two options when you're creating the cluster. Would you like to use the original storage architecture found in uh, previous versions of vSAN as well as vSAN 8 or the express storage architecture? And this is where uh, you really have the option to uh, uh, transition into this uh, overall new architecture. And these can all be managed by the very same vCenter server. So you can have a mix of these uh, clusters all managed by that very same uh, control plane, uh, and that is really offers the flexibility that many of our customers are looking for. If you would like to learn more about the express storage architecture in vSAN 8, feel free to go out to core.vmware.com uh, where you can learn about all things related uh, to vSAN. Thank you very much.